Sedona and I am in Sayulita, Mexico right now. I am attending one of my dear yogi friends bioculture retreats here and it's going to be four days of just so much magic and madness <laughs> with everyone and I can't wait to share you guys behind the scenes because we're going to be doing yoga, we're going to be doing biohacking, learning about things, workshops, content creation, hiking, temescal, just having so much fun and I'm so excited to be surrounded by these types of people who have like an elevated mind, who are thinking the way that I think, who have values similar to mine. And I'm just really excited to be surrounded by these types of people. So this is really big for me actually. Um, I'm just super honored to be here. Thank you to Goda, he's super awesome. Come check out this retreat with me. Come follow along what a retreat would be like in Sayulita. Welcome to Casa Pina. This is where we are staying for a night before our retreat starts. How cute. We get to stay here, kind of prep, get to know some people. Sedona, bioculture, let's do it. Out here, look at my friends. Fresh coconut milk. Dude, entering the portal right now to the rancho. Has some severe spiritual awakenings. Some more side effects I'll let you come to the conclusions yourself. Oh my god, I have a smell. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> well, epic. We have arrived. A warm welcome by Black Lotus Shilajit Tea. Surrounded by amazing people as we welcome in the welcome ceremony. Clearly excited. <laughs> what is that? Never mind. <laughs> so, we are about to do our Temescal and super excited for this experience. Temescal is like going through a rebirth. It's very hot. Sana times a million. This time is my first time ever being on my moon though. I might bleed and I'm a little nervous because of that because I'm a bit extra sensitive. So I'm going to be very aware of my body and listen to you know what I need. Right now I'm going in with the intentions of shedding so much like I'm going through such a deep ego death and rebirth in my life right now and stepping into this more nurturing educating vibe of Sedona and more just sharing you guys with my story so this is me before feeling a little nervous feeling hydrated ready to go and let's do this <laughs> so you just like bite off the tip like that uh -huh. and then you just suck okay and then sit that out, and then suck. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It tastes like ginger. It's like, yeah, it's like sweet ginger. You guys, thank you. Yeah. Wow, you guys. Oh, how do I feel? Reborn. That was one of the most powerful and deep tetanus scales that I have ever experienced. I have full body goosebumps right now. I don't know if you can see, but cried at the end. Right now I feel so like blasted off but I wanted to hop on here and talk about the after. It was hard. Um, I don't even want to talk about how hard the heat is. It's more of like my experience that I just went through. My current phase that I'm going through in my life right now is like fully trusting the masculine again and God and Father figure and Trusting the divine, and that is a, that to Mezcal. I just went through a deep connection with my dad who passed away almost nine years ago, and it even took me to a deeper moment of our relationship and my connection to the masculine, and something that I was able to just rewrite my narrative and story of the masculine. Kind of like rebuilding my trust with the masculine because when I was in second grade, I had asthma really bad and I flatlined. I I died and came back to life. I had an asthma attack, couldn't breathe. It was a really traumatic event in my life. Went to the ambulance. Don't remember waking up into the hospital. And it's really crazy because just before this retreat, like a couple of days ago, like a week ago, I. I was talking to my mom because I just really remember my mom being there in that event, not knowing what to do and like it being very scary. And I just like relived that event. Like the last door was so hard for me to breathe and I had to 
connect with that and what I found out like a week ago was that my dad was passed out on the couch drunk in the room next door not there helping guiding being a lead helping save me and now I just had the moment of him being there in this moment talking me through this I got you like I really felt his spirit in my body and his presence just being there being there like he would have been if he was conscious and connected to himself and there to help me go through that, that process and it was like rooted in like distress with the masculine not being there when I was in second grade a little girl and this moment like I was refeeling that like scariness and shortness of breath and kind of reliving that moment but him being there this time as a spirit, walking me through it, talking me through it, seeing there like the warrior man he was. He was a veteran, through a lot of shit, and this time he was there. Like, I feel his presence in such a different way now. Like, I really could feel him talking to me. So, that's all that to Pascal. That's like <laughs> super beautiful, and I'm definitely gonna be sitting with him for a long time. Um, Wow, like also having my moon right now, I could feel my womb super activated and towards the end it was like really on and active and yeah, like really beautiful and singing and breathing and trusting and going through the the hardness, like that was tough and it was amazing and afterwards got with some sisters and sat with beautiful Hapi from the Yawanawas in Brazil and it was a really beautiful outfit. I feel like I'm just like kind of floating in my body right now and I feel so fucking good. Like I can't wait to go to this next chapter of my life. I feel like I'm really merging myself with all of the work that I've done the last few years and constant and continuing to do. And balancing the masculine and the feminine even more and more trust in the masculine and surrendering as a feminine and receiving and giving and nurturing and trusting masculine and God and life like being so thankful and grateful for it so I'm so blessed for this retreat already like day one is here wow wow if you guys are considering it Mescal, or wondering what it is I highly recommend that you guys look into doing it because I've done probably over 15 now and they've all been life changing so much medicine so much information received process like would not ever turn back on doing them I would I wish I could do one every week um, they are so incredible and I'm feeling like a new person right now for real my body is just glittering <laughs> I'm so blessed I love you I love you Sedona I love you life thank you thank you thank you Ciao for now.